Around 1,400 Finnish men served in the German Waffen-SS. But why? I mean, the Finnish army fought on the side of the Germans as a so-called co-belligerent. So why were there Finnish men recruited in the Waffen-SS? What about this? And where did they fight? Did they commit any war crimes? That and more in this video. You're going to learn about the Finnish Waffen-SS volunteers. Keep watching. Good to have you back on the channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm Stefan. I'm a Dutch history teacher. I make videos about history for you. And if you find it interesting, consider subscribing. Also hit the notification bell. For Finland, World War II started when the Soviets invaded the country in November 1939. The Hitler-Stalin Pact, also known as the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, signed in August, gave the USSR a free hand in Finland. Despite the valiant resistance of the Finnish soldiers against the Soviet onslaught, the Finns agreed with the March 1940 Moscow Peace Treaty, ceding several areas to the USSR. Afraid that the Soviets would attack again because of the ongoing Soviet pressure, the Finnish saw cooperation with Germany as the only way to secure their independence. As the Finnish Prime Minister and later President Risto Ruti stated, Whatever opinion you might have about the current system in Germany, it is a thousand times better than to be under Soviet rule, which would mean our death. In an earlier video, I covered how the Finns joined Germany as a co-belligerent, and you can find the video in the top right corner. In the spring of 1941, the military alliance between Nazi Germany and Finland really began to take shape. When 1,400 Finnish joined the German Waffen-SS. Later, the Finnish army would mobilize and take part in the Continuation War. That is something for a later episode. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Finnish Waffen-SS volunteers. So why did the Germans want to recruit Finns in their own ranks, while later the Finnish army would fight on their side? Reasons for Finland was to secure German cooperation against future Soviet aggression. The initiative came from the SS. The Nazis, they wanted to establish international SS formations in their common struggle against the enemy, Bolshevism. In March 1941, an understanding was reached between the Finnish and German governments. The Finnish SS volunteers can be characterized as a national Finnish representative troop in German service, not dissimilar for instance, to the Corps Expeditionnaire Russe en France in 1916-18. Finnish bodies carried out the recruitment and the volunteers entered SS service in accordance with the active support of the Finnish government. Because this did violate Finnish neutrality, it had to be done in secret. Propaganda was kept at mute level. In particular, the foreign ministry under Minister Rolf Witting was involved. Commander-in-Chief Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim wrote in his memoirs that he was successful in limiting the recruitment of Finnish SS volunteers to men not drafted in the forces. The Finnish leaders also wanted to limit the number of ultra-right-wing candidates securing access to military training and possible garnering a stronger position in Finnish politics. Anti-Russian and anti-Soviet attitudes had deep roots in Finnish society. And because of the Winter War, these attitudes were only deepened. In May, the volunteers were brought to Germany for training. The Finnish Waffen-SS volunteers served in the Viking Division. Viking was comprised of three regiments, or Standarte. Westland, with mostly Dutch volunteers, Nordland, with mostly Danish and Norwegian volunteers, and Germania, mostly Germans. By the summer of 1941, the Viking Division, 20,000 men, mostly consisted of Germans. In June 1941, the division numbered 19,337 men, of whom 631 were Dutch, 421 Finns, 294 Norwegians and 216 Danes. At that juncture, just one Swedish subject had joined the division. In the summer and autumn of 1941, the Finnish Waffen-SS volunteers took part in operations of Army Group South with the Viking Division. On the 1st of July, they entered the city of Lemberg, also known as Lviv or Lvuv. Later, they captured Tarnopol. In both cities, they found prisons 
filled with dead prisoners. Political prisoners that were executed by the Soviet Secret Service, the NKVD, before they retreated. Viking went via Pruskurov to Oman, where they fought in the encircling battle against the Red Army at the end of July. After this, they went to Kiev. When Wehrmacht units released them there, they crossed the Dnieper and Dnepropetrovsk fell in German hands mid-September. In October, the Viking division took part in the Battle of Rostov and Mariupol was captured mid-October. Yet, in November, Rostov fell back in Soviet hands and the Germans had to retreat. Winter was now upon them. Insufficient linguistic skills, the lack of training, German weaponry and unfamiliarity with the German leadership principles caused problems. Also officers and NCOs did not have positions according to their ranks which caused additional problems. By the end of 1941, 63 Finnish volunteers were dead, 180 wounded and 11 missing in action. Early 1942 with additional recruits, the casualty number increased. From mid-July till August 8, 1942, the Finnish volunteers received additional training and could therefore not fully participate in the German summer offensive of 1942, Fallblau. In the previous month, a second round of recruitment had taken place in Finland and a replacement company of 200 men arrived in November on the Caucasus front. The fighting remained brutal as a volunteer, Arvo Wittberg, wrote. There were no front lines after the retreat from the Caucasus. Sometimes the Russians were ahead of us, although they later were encircled. The villages were full of them. No prisoners were taken. We lived as if the last day was coming. The prisoners were shot, regardless of how they raised their hands. I did not do it. Those doing it were others. To what extent were the Finnish Waffen-SS volunteers responsible for atrocities committed on the Eastern Front. There has been research by Lars Westerlund named the Finnish SS volunteers and atrocities against Jews, civilians and prisoners of war in Ukraine and the Caucasus region 1941-43. He did extensive archival research and it can be summarized as the following. It is apparent that the Finnish SS volunteers very probably participated in the killings and brutalities committed by different units of the SS division Viking against Jews, civilians and POWs in 1941 and 1942. However, it should be stated that the available source material does not offer sufficiently detailed information in order to assess individual events in detail. Memoirs have also been studied. A volunteer Olavi Lysinen wrote the following. In the villages where the locals participated in the defense, severe punishment was meted out. The resistance of one or two men could cause the death of 20, 30 villagers, owing to the state of mind of the Germans in command. And all this because the orders of Hitler stressed and followed. We Finns did not accept this sort of treatment, although we were not able to prevent it. All that we saw horrified us. The Germans viewed us with indifference and let it be understood that we were granted an equal status only as a consequence of Hitler's permission. I do have to emphasize that memoirs, documents written after the war are not the most reliable source, definitely not when you compare it to diaries. But diaries have also been studied extensively by historian Besterlund, who did extensive archival research to the Finnish Waffen-SS volunteers. You can download his research for free, I put a link below the video. In January 1943, they were withdrawn from the Caucasus front and directed towards Stalingrad. There, they had to relieve the trapped 6th Army in Stalingrad. However, this attempt failed and the Finnish volunteers got at best as close as 275 kilometers from the city. The Finnish SS battalion was able to retreat west of the River Don in February and participated in battles in Ukraine until April. Then they were withdrawn from the front. The Finnish volunteers returned via Tallinn to Hanko, where a parade was held on the 1st of June 1943. The men then enjoyed a one-month leave period. The Germans wanted to continue the unit as a small group of volunteers also wanted to continue, but Mannerheim proposed the battalion should be discontinued. Hitler agreed with Mannerheim's proposal and thus the unit came to an end in the summer of 1943. Some of the men went for officer training in Finland, 
others continued to serve on the Finnish front till the end of the war. One person I do like to mention is Laurie Turney, who first served in the Finnish army, then the Waffen-SS, and later in the American army in the Vietnam War. There's plenty on him on YouTube, so look it up. Shout out to my patrons, special thanks to Thomas Zabiega, Liam Devlin, Damien Wallace, Connor, Philip Jordan, Jakob Musland, Nick Turanova, Haley, Mark Little Hill, Janusz Jorgenkiewicz, Joanne, Justin Tabell, Tanya Dixie, Henry Clarkson, Rob Park, and Andrea Martic, Susanna Di Bella, John Beach, Way Back History, Luis Pichera, Fernando Lopez Ojeda, and Mike West. Please support me via Patreon or PayPal so I can continue this work. The links are in the description. If you'd like to learn about Norwegian Waffen SS volunteers in the Norwegian Legion, you can click right here. And I also covered the Dutch who served in the Viking Division. You can find a video on just that right here. Like, comment, share, don't forget to subscribe and until next time.